Good morning, mountain bikers. We're on Black Mountain today, and I'm here with Sunglass Rob. And uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to work on some things today. It's going to be a little bit of fear management slash progression session, or at least in my head, because we haven't gotten <laughs> to anything that I'm scared of yet. So what's up, everybody? Sunglass Rob from SportRx. If you ever need glasses, you know where to go. Enough of that plug. Uh, <laughs> So I've been living on Black Mountain for a couple of years, uh, gone through three different bikes up here to try and figure out what the right machine is. I've gotten, I think, better for sure. Un um, unquestionably better. But there's still some significant things that I can't do or still scare me. Um, and it's been bothering me that it scares me. And I don't know if it's appropriate that it scares me or not yet. Like, maybe I'm not that guy or I haven't been that guy. I don't know if I want to be that guy. I think a lot of times we're afraid to talk about fear on a mountain bike. And for me, I didn't grow up as like one of those crazy kids on a BMX. Like I was a couch kid. Being active like this has only been like maybe the last 10, 15 years of my life. Um, I used to weigh almost 400 pounds. I was a whole different person. So all like just being out here is a big deal for me. And then seeing these black line, enduro lines, double black lines, like I just hit the brakes. But today we're going to try and see... Maybe if I can let go a little bit, but then like the pros and cons for me are like, is it that much more fun? I got to, I'm going on two trips this week. Like I can't be hurt for these two trips. So like, I can answer one of those questions. Yes, it is that much more fun. It is that much more fun. You know what it is? It's not even that it's more fun. It's like, there's a challenge that you haven't hit that you know about that you think you probably can. And the type of person I am is like, I want to, I want to get past that. Like mm -hmm. I want, I want to get past that and uh, off the bike. I'm not conservative, like <laughs> in life, in friendships, in love, in business. Like I'm been like I go, like I'm I'm charging. But on the bike, I guess, maybe this is my slowdown outlet. I don't know. We're gonna climb a little bit more. We're gonna not make you bear with us on this climb in our deep breaths or my deep breaths. And there's a rock roll at the top. Uh, there's two pretty serious lines after the rock roll. And the rock roll is maybe the most serious thing on Black Mountain-ish, mm -hmm. arguably. It's it's not easy. It's not easy, but it's... I don't know. I, I need to think about that. Uh, I need... I. You guys know I call Chris, Chris never missed Wessels from the day I met him. <laughs> and I've become a better ride since, rider since the day I've met him. So thank you, Chris. I hope You're everyone welcome. watching his channel appreciates his professionalism and professorism. Uh, believe it or not, he's funnier now than he was before. I am, uh, definitely. Anyways, let's go. The other line is hard. Er, I've been afraid of it. Let's go see if I uh, pucker up today. We'll bring it back shortly. Internet magic happening. All right, we're at the top of Black Mountain. I put the camera on Rob. I'm going to tow him in. I thought that part was obvious. <laughs> I just Hey, that's not Rob. Uh, I'm really nervous right now, everybody. Like, really nervous, which I really shouldn't be. But... I, I, it's, just, it's just something you haven't done. Yeah. You've done harder things. Yeah. It's just something you haven't done. And right. I've been at the top of Black Mountain, I would say maybe 75 times in my life. <laughs> Probably. Between maybe your weekday rides, night rides. Yeah, yeah. All so, that stuff. Um, I've known this line <laughs> 75 times. I've... I've probably only known of it the last 30, 40 times. Yeah. That's and, kind of uh, Dan and I I've down gone down it twice out. and walked the last section because it just looks hairy. <sighs> so here's what you need to know about this section. It's steep and it's loose. But if you take the right line, you have plenty of traction. At the bottom, there is a kind of rock roll, rock drop, depending on how, how fast you're going. If you hit it with speed, you're going to get air. But it is 100% rollable. So... I'm going to go at a very appropriate speed. Robable speed? Robable speed. Um, do they know what robable means? Robable means Rob can do it. That's a, a word we've made. So when we're looking at new features, he'll say, is that robable? Yeah, it's robable. So, yeah, we're going to do this in just a second here. Yeah. Bell's on. Let's do my belt one. Yeah, okay. As not to annoy everybody who's watching this. You ready? Yeah, should we uh, yeah. warn these gentlemen? You guys mind if we scoot through right here? Oh! Okay, 
Nice, they're in a rush. I love it. Oh, they're going back down. Hold on. You guys going to pop down in here? We are. Do you know if there's anybody else coming up the trail? Go get them. I don't see them. You're all right. We're good. We're good? Ready for this? I'm ready. Do it. I'm not ready, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay, nice and slow. Straight back. Nice and slow, I'm good at. Okay, now follow my line. Come down the front, right down the center. Go, 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 go. Woo! <laughs> now show everybody where you just came down. That wasn't that bad, dude. I told you. I don't know why my voice changed. <laughs> oh, brother. Give it up. <laughs> that was dope. You just got props from the hiker, too. That's my homie right there. <laughs> oh. How you feel? That was not that bad, dude. That was not that bad. I kind of want to do it again. You want to go do it again? Should we do it again? It's up to you. Do you feel like you need to do it again? Let's, to just, it? let's just conquer this, yeah. this guy. Go oh, see, that, like what I was talking about earlier is that feeling. Like that feeling is so addicting. What I just what felt like that pure, uh, it's just joy mixed with confidence, mixed with... I mean, that wasn't that ridiculously hard by any means, but if it's harder than what you've done, there's like this badassery feeling. Yep. And I just feel like I take that off the bike with me, and that's part of mountain biking for me. Is like, yeah. it gives me confidence off the bike. Like, the stoke continues. And honestly, it's like serious mental health benefits. Oh, yeah. Good morning, sir. Oh, Wessels is gone. Yeah. That was a lot of air. We've been together all morning. Okay, so this is a new trail. It's called Black Widow. It's partially been built. I don't know where the technical line stands, if it's open officially or not open officially, but everyone's riding it. So if we're breaking the law, I sincerely apologize. And but I'm what we want to say now. is don't build on the trail. Is that what you were yes. going to say? Well, number one, there's, there's not a sign that says it's closed, which makes me think we're probably okay. It does say trail under construction. Yeah. But it's being built by trail professionals. Yes. Not by, you know, your neighbor. This is total legal, total sanctioned, 10 years of work. Matt, thank you. I love you if you're watching this. So if you're going to ride it, ride it. If it's closed, please comment and let us know so we can fix our area here. Yeah. But as far as we know, you can ride it. Just do not build. It is going to be under construction again when the rain starts again. That's, that's fair. Yeah, no building. And the second half you could tell isn't finished so don't complain yeah so this is going to be <laughs> this is very much a mid build that we're going to be looking yeah, at today but the deal is on turn three there's about a hundred degree turn it's like more than it's 90 degrees steep, yeah and it's steep and it goes into this um, techie rock garden that it's one of those that looks really intimidating but is not technically that hard like i don't think it's any harder than what we've already done today probably not especially if if you consider we've gone down that black diamond um, rock garden that we hiked up about a hundred times. Mm -hmm. Remember when you had to tie, tow me into that after I my do, crash? Yeah. Chris is like my mentor, everybody. Um, so the, <sighs> it's very easy to miss this turn, but if you do make the turn and do the rock roll, it puts you into a really cool line. I've done the stairs, which nice. I think is the harder part of the second half. Probably. So, well, so like this, three line the, right the, the continuing story of this is I've been coming to do it like, the first time I saw it, I was like, this is insanity. But then I, I saw people do it. I was like, okay, I can do this. And I've come specifically, like, I woke up with a mission to come do it, and I've walked it. And I think even twice in a day. Like, I, I climbed back up 
all the way up the fire road and hiked it again because I, when I saw it again, I was like, holy. But uh, I know I can do it. Let's do it right now. Fuck. Ready? No. <laughs> Is it, do I want that feeling again? I think that's that question. Or did I get it for today and play it safe? I'm doubting myself, gentlemen. I already knew I wasn't going to do it. How do you even make the turn? Like, I try to make it. Or do you just stop and start? Kind of, yeah. Or do I, like, just go from here? Fuck, dude. It Can looks... Down here? I know, I have. It's not that bad from down yeah, there. The, the line you just did is way harder. Here's the, here's the only thing that can go wrong. Come off the edge. Right? That's it. There's nothing in here where you're going to go over your bars. Just make that turn and you're fine. Have you done it from just a track stand? I, it was pretty close right there. <laughs> Did I figure out where the line was? I almost came this way. Oh, fuck. Here, let's do it again. Follow me. I don't think I got it in me today, dude. Are you sure? Why is this so hard for me? Go stand right there. Watch me do it. I'll leave my bike up here. Yeah, leave your bike up here. I can see the comment sections now. Rob, you're such a... And I'm going to comment back. It's 2019. You can't use that kind of language. No gender roles. Smash the patriarchy. Break the glass ceiling. I know you mountain bikers out there and your language. Okay. Can you see the approach? Dude, from here it looks like nothing. Just take this turn really wide. God, I just know I'm not gonna go. Like I'm seeing it, I wanna go, and there's something in me that's just not letting me do it. This is way easier than this. Yeah, I can't even do that. That I think is almost unrideable. Like, that needs work. If that's the beeline, it's not really a beeline. <laughs> it's just so, it's so soft right now. Once it gets finished and it's packed like this, it'll be fine. But right now it's so soft that, yeah, that's harder. Here's the only thing. Right at that big rock, right there. Yeah. Like, right in the middle. All you have to do is turn your bars a little bit. I think the more I sit here and look at it, the less likely this is happening. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking less small than it did. It's looking more small than it used to. Something's it, wrong with me. It's long. That's it. Let's go to the bottom, and maybe we'll do it again. Yeah. We got nothing to do today. Are except you a camera trade? Yeah, for sure. All right, everybody. Back to the fast guy. You don't want to see any more of this. <laughs> we're climbing back up. And while we're climbing, Rob and I are going to have a little chat. I call this 20 minutes of regret. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what is it that makes you not want to go? I just don't want to get hurt. Like, I just really don't want to get hurt. I'm 40. I've been hurt twice on a bike. Really bad. One time, uh, unconscious for six minutes. Facial reconstructive surgery. Uh, to me, basically, I got a second chance at life. I was unconscious. I don't remember anything about being unconscious, but I remember pretty much every moment after I woke up in a pool of my own blood. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I've never been that guy. Like I've, I've always been 
fearful in those types of situations. I think that's understandable. I mean, but like public speaking and like putting everything on the line. I do that all the time, every day. That's a different kind of fear, though. Right? That's that's a social fear. Yeah. You're talking about a physical fear. Yeah. And I think every mountain biker rides with some sort of fear. Isn't There's the obviously point? exceptions, but... Like, isn't that line the whole point of the sport? I think it's a big part of it. And it's not even that you need to cross the line. You seem to move the line. Yeah, yeah. Which I think today we did with the first that, right? I think so, yeah. Hello again. So I conquered something today. I mean, that had, that thing had been scaring me. And I knew it was there. And even on the industry shred, with like everybody around, you know, you know how the bro, the bro thing gets. Yep. I still went the other way. I didn't care. So this ain't shit. The comment section is not going to bother me. They can say whatever <laughs> they want. Now Dan, on the other hand... <laughs> Yeah, but, gonna, I mean, another thing that I've learned with a lot of people who, like, if that's what they feel like they have to say, they're just trying to pump themselves up somehow. Like, that's, yeah. it's an insecurity thing. Well, there's two ways. If you're here, and you know somebody who's here, there's an easy way to keep yourself above them, is by doing this. But where do you end up going? That's, when you're pushing people down, you're going down too. If you're pulling people up, that's amazing. Maybe, hopefully, probably, one day, they might go there. But where did you start? We all started here. So that's just like a Dan Druten philosophy that I've embraced. That's good philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> this is why Rob's one of my favorites. Hey guys, thank you. Appreciate it. Nope, just me. Thank you. I'm the last one. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Top turn. Rob and I are going to stop talking philosophy and managing fear for a minute. Have a little fun. We're about to go hit Miner's DH, which for both of us, probably, uh, I think it's my favorite trail on Black Mountain. Is this your favorite trail on Black Mountain, Rob? It's just so much fun. And this is another... Well, I guess we're going to talk about it for a second. Dropping into miners is a turn that Rob had to conquer that he just wouldn't do for a while. Now he does it no problem. Oh, that turn going into miners, Rob, yeah. is harder than uh, the Rock Hole and Black Widow. Yeah. Why is that one still in my head? Just throwing that out there for you. I'm good. I'll follow you. I'm on my hard toe today. Yeah. I might pass you right before that. But, yeah. Let me get you going down, Miners. It'll be fun. Nicely done. Yeah, Give him a little space. I like to get a little air on those sessions. Ooh, nice, Rob. 
Rob hit one of the little kickers. He's lost his rock there. I watched the whole set. That's my first time watching that set on the hardtail. Alright, it's decision time. Basically, just did that blind. There are bushes in my face. Well done, sir. Our big theme today was managing fear. Rob, how do you think it went? I think it could have gone better. It could have gone worse. Nobody got hurt. We did have a flat, so still yeah. I would call it a good day for sure. Um, I did a part of a trail that I was scared of for a long time and it felt yep. amazing. I didn't do the rock roll on Black Widow. I don't know if I'm full of regret or not. You know but... what, though? You did stuff today that's harder. Yeah. Than the rock roll and Black Widow. It's so weird. It, it really is. It's a mental block. It is. It is. Uh, you have the skill. It was It was a fun day. I would say um, part of it is that live to ride another day. Uh, well, it's not the last time we're going to do Black Widow. No, it's not. 
so first of I'm, many. I'm sure I will conquer it one day, but that was really fun. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks yeah. for making fun of me in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe for more content. And I've got some other videos that I've thrown up of Rob and I just having some fun. Give it that thumbs up. It'll make you feel good. It'll make your day. I promise. I promise. Just give it that thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Later.